and the slides go in here go through there that's wild where would you need just for the unit Do these go with this here? Yeah. What is that exactly? It's called a magic lantern. It's got a burner in there. They used to put kerosene and light it. And the slides go in here? Go through there. That's wild. The wall or whatever back then. Huh. The glass thing's what's hard to get. It holds up the light. I mean, really cool. Yeah, they are cool. You're selling the whole thing as a set? Yeah. What are you asking for it? Uh, it's on there somewhere. Is it? Unless it's on the bottom, I don't see it. Oh, well, I say all those slides are what's hard to get. They got broke over the years. They're like turn of the century. I suppose she had a price on it somewhere. I think I had 40 on all of it because there's a bunch of these. You guys don't do any eBay, you just do the booths? Yeah, well, I do eBay too in the wintertime. But do you? In the summer, I have no time. No, I just don't. Good luck with the sale. Thanks so much. Morning. What's your ball glove? Okay. What do you ask on the uh, receiver? area thing so that goes for it came out of a oh geez an 05 silverado um it was used for like six months and my son's truck got wrecked oh no <laughs> so we took it out uh because they it, it got totaled so there's a small scratch at the bottom but other uh -huh. than that it works it's bluetooth capability uh, has a mic on it the speakers there are just six by nine door speakers that were in there Oh, I see them, yeah. So you're trying to sell the speakers and the... No, I mean, either. either. I mean, it's not like it has to go together. But yeah. I figured most, most people would. Where would you need just for the unit? You, got, you didn't put price... I don't, what, what do you think? Just make... I don't really need for it. I don't really need Yeah. It was like 300 bucks, I think. They bought it, but... 
I got two bucks in the glove here. Uh, two dollars each. Six bucks. Yeah. What would you need for the uh, receiver? My sons. Um, you didn't really tell me what he wanted. Bucks. I think I'll probably pass. I appreciate it though. Yep. Good luck with your sale, guys. Have a good day. Pay here? Yes. All right. Oh. What's your DVDs? These are 50 cents. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Okay. And then I got a printing pen. I think this was with the. Do you pay five for set. that? Um, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And then how much is your cup? A dollar. Okay. Six, seven. Thirteen. See, girl. Why aren't you doing the money? Thank you. Thank you. Good you luck with the sale. Um, yeah, if you got one, that'd be great.
Are they good ones? Because I can't take them out. Just things that you might do to do. You know, just I, I really like his doctor. His name is Redmond. And where? That's six movies. How much were those pieces? Uh, two dollars. What the sign said. Twelve dollars. You're having the sale tomorrow and through Sunday. Through Sunday. Back at the house, I went to a handful of sales. I didn't find that much, but I'm pretty happy with what I did find. Honestly, since it's Thursday, I was just happy that I had any sales at all to go to. I got this uh, 3D pin for shoot. I want to say this was um. I want to say this was ten. No. It was five. This was five. Um, new in the box has the, uh, I don't know, whatever this is, the, the filament stuff that you use. Uh, this is going for right around 30 to 40, and I'll throw that in there, maybe get a little bit extra money. And then I got, I think I got a Tervis cup there for my mom for a buck that's in the car because I'm going to see her tonight. And then I got a couple of movies for 50 cents each, uh, Sandlot and Uncle Buck. I'll just keep those in my collection. I went to an estate sale that had a lot of really great stuff, but this was the first day. So everything was, you know, eBay prices. I mean, they had really done their homework. Everything that I looked at matched the eBay prices perfectly. And they're going to be doing 25% uh, off tomorrow, 50% off Saturday, and 75% off Sunday. So I'll probably be going back Sunday for sure. But I went ahead and got some movies, paid the two bucks. Um, I got Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3, all in one shot. We got some uh, Die Hards. And then we got Jason Bourne. And then this is the Bourne Trilogy. So it's three and one. I'm just keeping those two for my collection. I got this glove for two bucks. Um, this is like a 13, 14 inch uh, softball glove. So this should sell pretty well. If you ever get a glove that doesn't have the size on it, what you can do is the way you measure it. Let's see if I can do this while I'm uh, filming. You start here. You want to take like a either a string and then put it to a measuring tape. Or if you've got a soft measuring tape, you can do it. So you want to start here and you come all the way down and then you stop right here. And that is how you get the uh, measurement of a glove. So if you don't have one of those like uh, soft measuring tapes, like meant for uh, to go around your waist or whatever, take a piece of string and just, you know, have it that length and mark it or cut it and then put it on a uh, measuring tape and it'll, it'll tell you. Uh, gloves will always be either like, usually between like nine inches is going to be about the smallest and then 14 inches is probably the biggest that you'll see. Last but not least, uh, these are my best finds of the day. I got a couple of textbooks for $2 each. Let's see, this one is going between like 40 and 50, and this one is going between 70 and 90. Those are recent uh, sold comps. And just a word to the wise, if you're selling textbooks, make sure that you're flipping through the pages and checking to see if there's any writing or highlighting or any torn pages, uh, because if there is, you definitely want to uh, disclose that in your uh, listing so you don't get an upset buyer on your hands. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.